Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the DC TV shows. We've got a whole load of new information. We've got a new Arrowverse spin-off that has been announced. Also, we have some updates in regards to potential trailers coming out. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so obviously the big Arrowverse news is the new spin-off show. We'll get to that after our first topic, and our first topic comes from Pagey, as Pagey in his recent video mentioned that some people at TV Line and apparently their sources have told them that sometime in December and sometime in November we should be expecting promotion to start for our Arrowverse shows. And what shows are they, you may ask? Well, this month, in regards to November, apparently Batwoman will be getting its first trailer. Which, when you look at it, isn't really big news because we've all been expecting this. I mean, we kind of theorised that all the shows would have a trailer sometime in November. However, due to The Flash and Superman Lois getting delayed and even Black Lightning slightly getting delayed. None of us were expecting to get a trailer or any sort of promotional material this month due to that delay and it's been said by these sources that the other shows that being The Flash, Legends of Tomorrow, Supergirl and Superman Lois will potentially be getting a mixed kind of trailer in December. So what is a mixed trailer? So in regards to what I mean right there, We've seen them in the past, they used to do it before Comic Con every year, they would do a kind of mixed trailer where they would include all the DC TV shows and just include a few clips like from The Flash, Arrow, Supergirl, Legends and then they would, you know, combine it into one small promo like a minute long promo or something so you get like three to five shots from each of the individual shows and it sort of brought up the hype for all the shows when they were sort of heading towards the big kind of step up in promotion as you get towards the months of September and October. Sometimes they would release a few later towards September. Just as an appetizer for the trailers to come. So they're always fun and I was expecting something like this for a while because again, like I said, it's commonplace for the CW to do this. So just hearing that they are talking about that and that potentially may happen sometime in December is very exciting to me because currently we're in the middle of November. I mean, there has been some information that came out recently, but not much in regards to The Flash and Supergirl and any kind of new promotion. It's just a few behind the scenes things. We get to see some set photos every now and again. That is the main source of information at the moment. Obviously the new Arrowverse spin-off show which we're going to get to later in this video is the big piece of news for the last couple of weeks because this is, you know, your big announcement. In regards to shows like The Flash, Supergirl, we haven't really had many casting announcements which is a bit strange, but again, these are unprecedented times. Normally around, you know, a few months before the shows come out, you would have Comic-Con or you would be in August and you would get a few announcements of castings, say of like a villain or of like a new character. However, maybe they're just sticking to the same old characters because of restrictions currently. And in regards to Superman and Lois, it's different for them because they have announced their castings and they did that a while ago. So, you know, they've been planning it for a while and they got delayed in terms of filming due to the lockdown. So, yeah, that is what is going on with the trailers and promotional material. We should be expecting a poster around that time. I would say December. Expect some posters because they do like to bring out posters relatively early in comparison to the kind of marketing schedule for the shows. So let's move on to the next big piece of information and this is the huge one. It was just confirmed yesterday that there is a new Arrowverse spin-off show coming and that spin-off show is a spin-off off of Black Lightning. So Black Lightning is getting a spin-off with the CW developing a backdoor pilot around the Painkiller character and this is coming from Deadline where I'm reading it. Painkiller will star Jordan Calloway reprising his role as the character Painkiller the Planted Pilot spin-off will air as the 7th episode of Black Lightning's 4th season, which will premiere in February 2021. Black Lightning showrunner Salim Akil will write, direct, and executive produce the show. Essentially, he is the showrunner of the show as well. It marks the first pilot based on a DC Comics character this broadcast development season and is the CW's latest Planted Pilot development. Last year, Network planted potential spin-offs for Arrow and The Hundred. 
Callaway plays Khalil Payne, a man riddled with the guilt of his troubled past from his former life in Freeland City, whereas a super enhanced killing machine known as Painkiller, he was both a member of Tobias Whale's gang and a weapon of Agent Odell and the shadowy ASA. Attempting to bury the darker, devastatingly lethal Painkiller part of his persona, Khalil has distanced himself away from everyone he knows and loves in a new city, Akashik Valley. He to try and find peace, but peace never comes easy for men with parts like his, as his violent, destructive history crushes his idyllic new beginning. Khalil is thrust back into action with a new mission, Bring Justice, where he once gave out punishment, but to do that, he will first have to deal with and harness his darker side, the Painkiller spin-off, is from Warner Brothers Television, Balanti Productions, which also produces Black Lightning, is not involved. So yeah, that is very interesting, that is the news, that is the big news, and a lot of questions are brought up from this, because this is a rather unexpected news. We've been waiting for word on Green Arrow and the Canaries for a long time since they did that pilot episode that they planted in Arrow's last season. And so that's obviously a big question, and with this coming up, this being another hour of a spin-off show, are they giving the painkiller show more priority? We'll have to wait and see. But one of the last lines is very interesting because I didn't read this at first, but Belanti Productions is not involved in the making of painkiller, although it's coming to the CW. So that's very interesting because Belanti does produce all of the Arrowverse shows, and considering this is an Arrowverse character, I don't see why they wouldn't want to take part of this, especially that the CW has given the go-ahead to the pilot, which is going to be in a Black Lightning episode, so it's going to be a backdoor pilot in their new season coming February 2021, which is a Belanti production show, Black Lightning, and so it's a bit weird. I don't know what's going on. Do any of you know anything more than me? Because that is odd. And I guess the main thing that I wanted to talk about was in regards to Black Lightning. Because we all kind of feel that Black Lightning's nearly on its last straws. It's heading into its fourth season now, and I mean, the show doesn't get the most ratings with CW, but it still does good enough to keep it going. However, there's been a lot of speculation in regards to if this is going to be Black Lightning's last season, or are they going to get like one more season and I think, you know, what brings it into question again, not just that this is a Black Lightning spin-off, of course, Black Lightning can continue if there's a spin-off, considering that, you know, Arrow continued for many, many years, with The Flash being a spin-off of, of Arrow, so that's no problem. However, either Black Lightning is going to get a new showrunner, or it's going to end, because as far as I know, the same showrunners are working on it, that being the Kills, Mara and Salim. I know Salim had some controversies a while ago, I think he got sued, and he had some allegations. But as far as I know, I'm pretty sure he served as showrunner still for season 3. He did develop the show with Mara, and so I guess season 4 will go along with the same people. Presuming this is correct, perhaps Mara will take over all abilities on Black Lightning, and maybe Salim will just put all of his focus into the spin-off. But it's very, very unlikely that he is going to just stay on both shows as a showrunner, because I think that's nearly impossible, considering how much there is to go through, and I think there has to be a leader on each specific show that you do, especially in television. So, yeah, it's interesting. Kind of brings up a red flag in regards to Black Lightning's lifeline, However, if Mara continues over at Black Lightning and then he goes on to this new show, it could work. However, we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, how do I feel about this new spin-off? It's very unexpected. Came out of nowhere. Had no idea this was coming. I kind of just presumed there wasn't going to be like a Black Lightning spin-off. Maybe it just never crossed my mind or I didn't think too much of it. Or I didn't think too much into it more so. The need for the spin-off show is a bit conflicted in my mind because I felt like, you know, they probably would have came out and said, oh, Green Arrow and the Canaries is not happening or something. Or like, oh yes, it's going ahead, but also we have this other spin-off show. So it's a bit weird in regards to... Green Arrow and the Canaries, you know, I think it's a bad sign for them, considering another show just got announced. So, yeah. What do you guys think about all of this? This was not what I expected, but it might be interesting. It might be very good. So we'll have to wait and see. Let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. Is this a shock kind of announcement for you, like it was for me? Or were you kind of expecting it? Were you one of the only people on Earth who was expecting 
this show. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.